right, y'all. Welcome back. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. So today's video, we're checking out something that a lot of y'all have been recommending, and this is about the show Manhunt with Joel Lambert, and then I guess he's also doing this show with the Philippine Scott Rangers. So I'm not really too familiar with the show Manhunt. I don't know if it's a show that we actually have in the U.S., but it seems pretty legit from what I've seen so far. And again, so I guess the purpose of this is for him to try and escape, like, uh, or trying to evade capture from the Philippine Scout Rangers. So it sounds pretty interesting. I know the Philippine Scout Rangers are very good trackers, and I know you guys have been telling me a lot about them. So yeah, I'm excited to check this out and see how he actually does. I'm not too familiar with Joel Lambert in general and, and what sort of background he has, but I imagine he's pretty official if he gets his own show. So yeah, we'll check this out. It's about four minutes long, and yeah, I'm curious. You guys have been recommending it a lot, so I'm sure it's gonna be very interesting. So let us get into it. So, Discovery Channel, always good stuff. Scout Rangers know that I'm infiltrating somewhere on Mount Santa Rita, but they don't know where. To create a diversion, I'm gonna pop smoke. Literally, nice. <gasps> Smoke on top of a tower. This is a climbing strap. Uh, we use it to lower equipment and secure things in the jungle. Okay, is he gonna repel or something? I like the drama already. Okay. <laughs> Distraction didn't work. Okay, this is already very, very dramatic. And again, Joel Lambert, he seems like a pretty crazy guy from what it seems like so far and pretty high strung. But I mean, okay, I like it. He's trying to use a smoke as a diversion. I mean, okay, but generally you wouldn't want to use a smoke or any sort of diversion where you're coming from because it seems like he popped a smoke and then went like right around the corner and did this crazy zip line, which I mean, looked pretty badass, but Again, it's not really going to help him so much when you have the diversion right next to you. I have 48 hours to make it all the way down to this cove where a small boat will pick me up and take me out of this place. Okay, so that looked like about 12. I don't know 12... if they saw me or if they saw the smoke, so it's time to make some distance. <laughs> That's like 12 kilometers, it looked like, roughly. Just stopping by the road. They're on to me. <laughs> Game on. This seems like a pretty cool show, to be honest. Though it would be pretty hard to find him, I feel like. I am leaving a lot of sign. They're gonna be on that so fast. Yeah, so the thing with being in a jungle, yeah, it's super easy to hide. However, it's very easy to also see where someone was because with a jungle, it's generally pretty moist. You can tell if someone has knocked the water off of the, the leaves. You can obviously see their footprints. You can even see how much weight they have on their back just by how their footprint actually looks because you know if the back of the foot is very deep and then it gets a little bit more shallow, that usually means that they have like a, a weight on their back. You'll see the, the heel dig in a little bit more. And then, of course, as you're walking through the jun jungle, you're pressing grass down, you're moving tree limbs to the side and branches to the side. So it's called spore, and it's basically an easy way to track someone because you'll, you'll see the trail, and you can even see which direction the grass is being pushed. So it's pretty easy, but again, it is a pretty big forest, so it might be a little bit difficult. So we're just going to have to go for it. I prefer to use stealth and try not to leave tracks, but as steep as this is and as thick as this jungle is, my trail is completely obvious. I've just got to move fast and try to make as much distance mm. as I can. Okay, it wasn't too thick, so it might be a little bit easier for him. Well, guys, it wasn't too wet. Fuck up. There we go. Oh, dude, I love the that Rangers I'm 16. The are led by combat veteran Lieutenant Jerzin Jaria and are considered one of the world's best jungle tracking teams. Hell this yeah. is the site where uh, our intel told us where the... The Navy SEAL has last been seen. This He's not messing around. unit doesn't depend on high tech assets, but relies solely on their highly tuned tracking skills. For sure. The Rangers look for Joel's tracks by casting, 
systematically searching in a circular pattern to locate any sign of spore. Oh, they, they said it's spore. Oh, they're measuring it too. Okay, that's very, very cool. Yeah, so like they were saying, you can get very dependent on technology if you just use it a bunch, whether it be GPS or any sort of navigational tool. Um, if you're trying to use thermals or night vision, any sort of equipment to sort of aid in your, in your scanning or your observation, you can get very reliant on that. So you can imagine these guys who don't really like to utilize it so much are going to be experts in just finding all the small stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We cannot see clearly these uh, footprints because there is no direct light on it. But if I'm going to use my flashlight, then make a shadow on the footprints, then I could tell this is a Panama boots, like my boots. <laughs> this is still fresh. It's nice. heading toward southwest direction. Okay. I like how they, they teach you Only how they're looking at in, it. And the rangers have Joel's track line and begin their descent just one mile behind their target mm. and it's slow going for joel <laughs> everything about the jungle is hard oh. we're talking thorns we're talking <laughs> thorns that can kill you yeah bugs Ow. Ow. yeah so whenever you're going through the jungle at least me when i was on the reconnaissance platoon I never wanted to be the point man because it's just absolutely miserable. You're walking through these massive spider webs with these big spiders. You're walking through all these thorns. Sometimes you get just to, to really thick vegetation and you just have to like break through it, which again is very easy to tell that some, somebody was there. But sometimes you just have to risk it and it, it makes a lot of noise as well. So I'm sure it's going to be much harder for him to, uh, you know, sort of evade their capture if he's making all this noise and they, they're already on the path. So we'll see. We have about 30 seconds left of this video. So, so far it's not looking too good for him. This is the sign that they have. Joel's machete has <laughs> left a clear visible trail for Lieutenant Jerzen and his men to follow. Oh yeah, machete will do it specially. Look at this cut branch. Mm -hmm. Still fresh. I smell the sap on it already. Then this is new. <laughs> and the Nibis Hill is still near to us. Joel is near exhaustion, but he must now start the ruthless 1500 foot ascent of Hill 394 or risk being caught. <laughs> okay, well, that's a very, very. Dude, I wish we could see the. I, I tried finding the full episode of this and it was just impossible. So, I mean, if you guys can send me the full episode, I'd like to check it out already. But that looks very, very cool. And that just looks like a cool, like, I don't know, manhunt. That just seems like a cool idea for a show. So, yeah, awesome recommendation. It's very cool to see this. And, of course, we get to see a little bit into how the scout rangers actually do their tracking and everything. Because you can use a lot of different techniques to actually track someone. But, you know, depending on the environment that you're used to, you can definitely learn a lot from other people who are more accustomed to that terrain. So, I mean, this looks kind of similar to what you'd see in Louisiana and Georgia and even roughly like North Carolina. But you can imagine they know it the best. They know the, the soil the best. They know the trees the best. So they'll be able to tell you a lot more about their, their land and how to track people. So very, very cool. Again, you need to be super monotonous with tracking sometimes if you are just getting right onto the right onto the scene and you're trying to find signs of human life. You need to be very monotonous and have a good attention to detail. And from what we've seen with the Philippine Scout Rangers, they definitely, you know, dot their I's and, and cross their T's with everything. They're very monotonous with what they do. So very awesome to see. It's just cool to see that professionalism in general. But yeah, very, very cool recommendation. Let me know what you guys think about the the show in general or even the Philippine Scout Rangers. If you have any other recommendations for the, the show Manhunt or if you guys can find the full video, I would appreciate it. Or if you have any recommendations in general, definitely feel free to put that down in the comment section. This is very, very cool to check out. Again, it's sort of like one of those TV shows, but I mean, I was, I was invested in it for sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for supporting the channel and commenting and subscribing and sending all of these awesome recommendations. I do appreciate it. And again, I hope you guys can appreciate the, uh, the Halloween decorations we have in the back over here. You know, I try to I try to take advantage of 
of being in the barracks and doing what I can. But yeah, I hope you guys can appreciate it as well. But yeah, again, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. But that is it for this one. So I will see you all in the next one.